tutorial I'm going to show you how you're going to be able to make a collage uh, using the pen tool, using the magic wand, and a few other little tips and tricks with Photoshop. So first you have to make sure that you've opened up all your four documents. So the donkey, the hat, the red flower, and the teeth. So we're going to start off with the donkey and at first we just want to make his eyes a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go up to the top menu and go to filter liquify. Here it brings up my liquify menu. Over on the top when you roll your cursor over it tells you what these tools are. So forward warp tool, reconstruct tool, pucker tool, bloat tool. I want the bloat tool. I'm going to set my brush size up around 200 so I can scroll across or I can actually just go in and type in 200. Once I'm here I'm now just going to click and keep holding down the mouse and making the eyes larger. So you can play around and have fun with this. You can make them really large or just keep them a little bit smaller if you like. Hit OK when you're done. So now we have this kind of wonky donkey but we need to add a little bit more to him. So I'm going to work with the teeth. So this is zoomed out or zoomed in, sorry. If I hit my zoom, I can click over at the top here. This is my selection. And now I'm zooming out. The quick keys are control minus to zoom out and control plus to zoom in. I like to quick key, so I'm just gonna stick with that. I'm gonna go over to the toolbar here and select my pen tool. I'm just going to go around at kind of any major points where I'm noticing where I'm gonna wanna add a curve and I'm just clicking and I'm adding points. So don't worry if it's not perfect right now. And always remember that your last point has to connect with your first point. And how you know that is you'll see a little circle at the end here and it tells you that you can connect your path. Now I don't want to have a path that's very rough like this. I wanna add some curves. So I'm gonna click inside here, let go of my mouse and drag this point out. These are my handles if I wanted to adjust the curve a little bit more. I can also go back and adjust it again. So I click, I let go of my mouse, and I drag it down. I can also select my previous points and move them to where I'd like them to go. So click, drag the mouse down, click, drag the mouse down, click, drag the mouse down, click, drag the mouse down. What you don't want to do is click and drag at the same time because that's when you get this kind of wonkiness going on. So I'm just gonna click, drag it up, click, drag it up, click, drag it up, and I'm just gonna move this one down so it's a better curve. Okay, now I'm happy. I'm going to right click, make selection. I don't want any feathering. Feathering would have really blurred edges, so I wanna have a nice hard edge. I'm going to hit okay. Here's my selection. If you wanted to see what the path looks like, it's over here. So I'm gonna hit Control C, copy it, go to the donkey layer, Control V. If I wanna move the teeth, I can go up to the move tool, which is on the sidebar here, and move the teeth down. Now I'm going to close down my teeth because I don't need this anymore. And I'm going to go over to my hat. I'm going to do the same thing with the pen tool. And this I just want to explain a little bit further. So you always want to make sure you're on path. If you're on shape, you will draw a shape. We don't want to draw a shape. We want to use it as a path. So if I go over to my paths, you will see the shape I created. I'm just going to delete that and start again. So I'm going to change it from shape to path. And I'm just going to make points around this hat. Again, I'm going in with the plus. Also, there's a minus here. If you make too many points and you want to delete them, you can always click your anchor points and delete them. And once I'm happy, I'm going to right click, make selection, hit OK, Control C, copy it, go to the donkey, Control V. Grab my move tool and move it up. Now I'm going to close down the hat. I don't need that anymore. Now one thing I really notice is that the teeth are kind of shifted and they're not hidden under the nose. So I'm going to get confused over here without naming my layer. So I'm going to call this one hat. I just double click on the words and teeth. 
Get in the habit of naming your layers and it'll make your life a lot easier. So I'm going to actually hide the teeth layer. I'm going to zoom in using the zoom. And I want to make sure I'm on the background layer when I do this. If you're on any other layer, this isn't going to work properly for you. So back to the pen tool. And I'm going to make a few points around the mouth here. What I'm doing right now is I'm actually curving my path as I go. This isn't necessary. It's a little bit trickier to do. If you'd like to do this, you would click and drag and then you would hold Alt and kill that last curve. But the other technique is really well to do. Now I'm going to right click inside and make selection. Again, I want zero for my feathering. And here I have my selection of the nose. I'm going to copy it, Control C. I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to paste it. I'm going to call this one nose. If I turn the teeth on, I can still see that my teeth are low. So what I have to do is I have to raise my nose layer above the teeth and now the teeth are actually hidden behind it. I can kind of shift that around to see how I'd like. I'm going to hit Control T. My transform box comes up. So this box you can scale and you can rotate. If your cursor is on the outside and you see these curved double arrows, that tells you you can rotate. You can also move your cursor inside and move it, the object around. When you're happy, hit enter. Now I'm going to go over to my red flower. And this one's a little bit different. I don't have to use the pen tool for this. I have to use the magic wand. You want to make sure that your tolerance is set up to about 90. If it's set low, this is what's going to happen. You're not getting a nice clean edge. So I'm going to change it up to 90. And right now I should have the majority of the background all selected. If I were to copy this, I would get the white selected. I want to actually inverse this so I can copy the flower. If I go up to the top and I hit select inverse, I now have my flower selected. So control C, copy it, go over to the donkey, control V. Grab my move tool and move it up. So now my flower is actually behind the hat. I'm going to drag this layer above the hat. Once you see that little line, you can let go. And I'm going to scale this, holding shift on your keyboard and only grabbing from the four edges will actually scale it into proper proportion. And I can just let go. If you don't, what's gonna happen is it's gonna get all wonky. And I'm gonna move it over. Now I wanna duplicate it. So I'm going to right click over on the blue part of this layer and hit duplicate layer. And I'll call this flower blue. I'll make this one a blue flower. And I'll move it over, make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go over to my hue and saturation. And I'm going to click on this right here. And this means the adjustment layer is only going to affect the layer below. So I'm going to actually start playing around and make it blue. I can make it a darker blue if I like. I can adjust the saturation. I can desaturate it or I could add more saturation to it. So the adjustment layers can be a little bit trickier to work with but I like to work with them because then if I turn the eye off it goes back to the original. This is the wonky donkey tutorial. Give it a try.